I'd like to say that buying computer parts is similar to buying tires for your car. So let's say you've got your car and you need to buy a new set of tires. You know, your tires go on your wheels. Now your wheels are going to be a certain size, a uh, size diameter, let's say 16 inches in diameter. And then, you know, that wheel is a certain width. So obviously, you need to buy a, buy a tire that's going to fit onto that. Now, some people have 17, 18, even 20 inch wheels. So, you know, you can't buy a 20 inch tire and put it on a 16 inch wheel. It's not going to fit. It's just going to be rolling around on you. Um, you also can't put a 16 inch tire on a 20 inch wheel. It's not going to fit over it. And so that's obvious. And that's kind of the stuff I just talked about. You know, you have to have the same socket for your CPU and motherboard. Otherwise, your CPU isn't even going to fit in your motherboard. Okay. So similar to buying tires, you got to get the size right. But that, after that, you're going to make your decision based on brand, speed rating, height, construction, and price. And so when you're buying tires for a car, you can choose from many different brands, uh, depending on if you do mostly city driving or highway driving, or you're just a speed racer, you might get higher speed ratings, especially if you have a uh, more performance car. So if you're, if you've got a Corvette, you're going to buy a tire that has a higher speed rating and, uh, and then, you know, there's height and I'm not going to, this, this course isn't about tires, but as you can see, after you get the size right, none of these brand height construction and price decisions are wrong or can be wrong. It's just your personal preference. And you might use, uh, uh, reviews that you find online or a friend's recommendation, but you definitely can't go wrong. So with the computer hardware, uh, you have to make sure it's compatible, like the socket has to match and those other things I mentioned that you don't want to get wrong. But after that, it's really just based on brand features, online reviews of people that have used that product, future upgradability. So will a certain part be somewhat future proof for the next few years and then price. So you really can't get it wrong. And uh, it's really important for me to state this. I hope I don't uh, spend too much time on this, but I feel that's important because I know how I felt when I first built my computer and I really needed uh, someone else's help when choosing parts because I was literally brand new and this is a long time ago. Um, but honestly, there's so many parts out there and terms and acronyms that you've never heard of before. It can be really confusing. And so I just want to say, hey, it's going to be okay. Make sure you know you don't get these certain things wrong that I spoke of. And then after that, read some reviews. You can go into forums. Um, but after that, it's really just personal preference and you can't go wrong. So just to wrap this all up quickly, once you're confident your CPU and motherboard are compatible, then it's really just a matter of choosing the right makes and models based on features. Um, let me give you an example. Um, a graphics card. Uh, for me, I was doing video editing, so I need a graphics card that has CUDA. Now, if I wasn't doing video editing, I could have chosen a different graphics card. All of them would be compatible with my computer. All of them would fit into the slot, and they would work, and they would display uh, images on the screen. But I had a, a specific requirement that I wanted because of a certain program that I was using. Uh, next is, is performance. You're going to have... Uh, slower CPUs and much faster CPUs. You're going to have dual core versus quad core versus hexa core and even eight cores. Um, online reviews. I, I always like to look at reviews, whether they're on amazon.com or Newegg and you know, a product that is very badly reviewed, I want to stay away from. And one that's highly reviewed, it makes me more confident about my purchase. Reputation. Uh, of the company itself, of who makes it. Um, you know, as I do more builds, I find myself gravitating to a specific set of uh, manufacturers. And then lastly, price. At the end of the day, you know, uh, one of the biggest constraints is money. And uh, it's a constraint for pretty much all of us. 
And so you, what you try to do is you say, okay, this is what I want to do with my computer. Let me take a look at the options. Okay, here's the features I want. Oh, okay, here's the price. And then you just kind of bounce that.